for a lot of you guys, you were introduced to Hudson Mohawk via the song Sea Bat. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I actually like that song, but I was introduced to Hudson Mohawk uh, 10 years ago via this commercial right here. Steven Universe, new series premiering Monday, November 4th, 8, 7 central. I remember watching that commercial and I was like, holy crap. I think it took me a few times for me to whip out Shazam and be like, let me actually get that song down because that song is sick as fuck. So... What caught me immediately was the the booming horns, which is a common uh, technique that Hudson Mohawk uses in his production. Uh, he uses it in songs like Fuse. And if you've ever listened to the entirety of Seabat, you know, or, you know, just listen to the song beyond the meme part, you know that at the beginning of the song, he also uses horns. So, you know, Hudson Mohawk is one of my favorite electronic artists. And, you know, he's got not only great drum production as shown in songs like Overnight. But he also has a great understanding of chords, uh, which is like demonstrated in songs like Joy Fantastic. Songs like Bluetooth, which friggin' blow my mind, they especially blew my mind when I was younger. Uh, that sort of production was just crazy to me. <laughs> a song like 3.3, uh, that is just a marvel to me in terms of the production and like what exactly the thought process and workflow is. It's a great influence to me. <laughs> He's a, he's a great artist in terms of his craft. One of his latest works is Cry Sugar, and on that album uh, is the song Intentions, which is a great sort of uh, introduction into his you know newer sound, which sometimes has great departures, but also sounds sometimes very familiar. So Intentions is a great familiar song if you're checking out that album. A song like Is It Supposed has these um, musical trappings that make the track sound super grand. And a track like Behold is a gospel trap. Anyway, I just wanted to give a introduction to Hudson Mohawk to people who might only know him as, you know, the Seabat guy. He's a fantastic artist. You should check him out.